Saudi owned channel Al Arabiya to be tried in UK court over the publishing of a false Qatar Airways video. Want to lease out your property to World Cup fans coming in 2022? Stay tuned. A Doha based AI technology startup wins the Best in Asia award. And here's why you should not be lax with security at your homes. Lastly, in sports, Al Arabi wins this season's handball league. Hi, I'm Amira, and this is the roundup. The United Kingdom's court announced it has the jurisdiction to decide on a lawsuit filed by Qatar Airways against Saudi-owned channel Al Arabiya over a false video published in 2017. The video that went viral three years ago showed a Qatar Airways aircraft being intercepted and shot down by a fighter jet as a result of the blockade against Qatar. Following a three-day court hearing, the English High Court dismissed the UAE-based outlet's application to contest the court's right to hear the claims. For property owners interested in leasing out their homes to World Cup 2022 fans, this is for you. Applications are now open to lease out your apartment to visitors coming to Qatar for the much-anticipated football event. Landlords have one month to register to verify whether their property fits the criteria. Doha-based company Sponix Tech has been selected as the best startup in Asia and one of the five best in football innovation in Austria. The sports technology developed the world's first software-based immersive replay videos and real-time virtual advertisements for football matches. The company says this will help enhance the experience for fans watching the game. Now, authorities in Qatar caught a thief who broke into several shops by literally smashing through doors and glass. The burglar confessed and all stolen goods were retrieved by the police. He now faces legal action. Lastly, in sports, Al Arabi team celebrated their victory at the Qatar Handball League for the second time in the club's history after beating Al Bakra in the final on Sunday. This was a welcome win by the team who last lifted the Handball League Cup in 1983. And that's all for today's roundup, but for more stories, head over to our website.